All right, let's do it. Number one. Explain how you would find the molarity of copper 2-sulfate solution if I gave you 5 milliliters of it in lab. So let's think about what they're asking. How you find the molarity of copper 2-sulfate solution if I gave you 5 milliliters of, in the lab. First thing is to figure out what they're asking you. Well, you remember that molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution, or N over V, number of moles over volume. And solute is basically the stuff. And liters of solution is the total volume of the solution. So here is the volume, and here is your solute. Okay. So if I gave you 5 milliliters of copper 2 sulfate, well, let's just actually, before we go any further, copper 2 plus, look at your periodic table here. Sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Okay, so that compound, CuSO4, that's what they're talking about. That balances out. All right, so there it is, molarity. It's the moles of stuff over the total volume of the solution. And so that's all we got to find out. So if I give you 5 milliliters, let's think about this. Uh, the molarity of copper sulfate will be the moles of copper sulfate over the liters of solution. So 5 milliliters, if I knew that 5 milliliters is 0 0.005 liters because I converted it using a conversion factor. It's basically divided by 1,000. That'll give me this number here, 0 0.005 liters. To find the molarity, all I need now is the moles of copper sulfate. Okay, So I need to find these moles of copper sulfate divided by the volume of the solution, and that will give me the molarity. So this is what we need. So how are we going to find the moles of copper sulfate? Well. It's in the solution, uh, you know, uh, and there's water in there, but we just want the copper sulfate. So this is what we do. You get the solution, 5 milliliters. You heat it up, probably in a Bunsen burner, put a little fire under there, and then you end up with a solid copper sulfate. And if you have the solid sopper, copper sulfate, can't you use the molar mass to convert it to moles of copper sulfate? And if you have the moles of copper sulfate, say you do the mass and it comes in, and it's like... 0 0.123 moles of copper sulfate. Just divide this number by that number, and you'll get the molarity. And that's all you got to do. All right. Hopefully this has brought you from this face, one of my students in Japan, very cute, to this face. All right. <laughs> Have a good one.